Right now, lads, so today we have a different kind of video, kind of. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make MT, but not in the traditional ways. So basically what are we going to do in? Also, well done to everyone who qualified. Just got to throw that in there. But basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to teach you guys how to how I make MT without sniping. It does involve the auction house because obviously you have to sell some stuff. But basically, I'm gonna. it does involve you playing as well. So if you don't like playing the game, it's not really for you. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video and find it helpful, smash that like button, bottom right corner for more empty methods. If we can get up to 40 likes, yep, 40, I'm going for 40, then you guys will be the absolute goats. So we're gonna be playing triple threat online. Now, there's a few caveats to this that makes this even more profitable. So basically, God damn it, my run is terrible. But basically, this is the team we're running. Now, I don't actually recommend you guys run a team like this unless your team is decked out with diamond contracts because contracts are very expensive at the moment. Basically, instead of running these, I'd suggest you run Amethyst cards because the XP is... Oh, the XP. The contract amount, like how much they cost for contracts, is far less than these cards. So if you were just, for example, I think it's 600 MT to get five games out of these cards which is not worth doing. However, Amethyst, I think, is 400. And if you go down even further, I think Rubies are 240. So I definitely say if you can run an Amethyst lineup or a Ruby lineup, I definitely would recommend you do it. Obviously, you have a few very good Amethyst players in the game right now. You have, of course, Sergi Barker, Carl Anthony Towns, Bradley Beal. Of course, these are a few older cards. But even just if you're just looking at the set that came out uh, yesterday, you have the Unicorn. Uh, you have Yao Ming, if you want to run Yao. That'll be an interesting one. But yeah, you have, of course, Donovan. You have uh, Josh Smith. You have a lot of cards at your disposable that are Amethyst cards, especially with Rubies as well. Like, you have Gary Harris, for example. That gets up to an Amethyst. Uh, Taylor uh, uh, Horton Tucker, he gets up to a Ruby as well. So we have a lot of budget options for you that I definitely recommend. Obviously, if you do have a stacked team and you have it decked out with diamond contracts, as I do here, of course, it does help out with your MT total. Now, one thing I would recommend for now, just for now, this is up to you if you want to do it, but I, I just like to do it just because it looks nice. Uh, I'd recommend actually grading your cards. So obviously you can see Vince has an extra large bonus, 9.5. I got very lucky with him. I have to get him beads done and I'm very worried. To be fair though, a pink diamond at a 7, you get a large bonus. So it does add up. So if we just uh, if I just show you guys one of the games I had, because of course we all have that receipt, tell you. If I just show you guys the, the receipt I have here, if you go to Media Gallery, as you can see here, I got 500 MT just for playing a triple threat online game, which is kind of insane and obviously that mighty mul um, point multiplier does add up as well i think it starts at like 1.25 i think so it uh, you know what you, you may as well just do it you may as well just grade your card obviously it does cost a little bit to grade the card but obviously it does add up in the end it's sort of like a take the hit soon but then you sort of, in the long run, get it back. Especially if you play this game quite a lot. So obviously, you get a lot of MT from scoring, defense, the score differential as well. If you're blowing out your opponents by 21 points to like 6, that does help with your MT as well. Also, you feel good percentage, shooting really consistently. Uh, definitely try and shoot 5 threes if you can. Obviously, you don't want to shoot that many. If you can brick one and obviously get the minimum 10 shots as well, you're really maximizing your MT. And the opponent's strength bonus, I don't even know why that's there, but... There we go, because I very rarely see that number go up. But basically, ah, uh, all right, we're back off the hellhole that was uh, that was current gen. All right, so basically what I was talking about is once you've graded your cards and once you're playing the games, it does eventually add up. Now, in terms of obviously you get some stuff off the boards. Now, this is where you're going to be making quite a bit of MT. So the main things you're after is, of course, packs, because, of course, there's a lot of things that have quick sell value, as well as uh, the shoes so you're sort of combining all sorts of methods that i've taught you guys so if you get shoe boosts you're pouring them into gold shoes for example so if i just find myself a gold shoe you get these gold shoes you put the bronze boosts on them and then you go sell the shoe obviously that's about a thousand mt roughly so it just depends on which shoe you have but it, it doesn't really matter it's it's at least 700 mt right there just off shoe boosts if you get now if you get tokens this is where this is really powerful so the token market the token market this year is actually phenomenal. Like, I'm a really big fan of what 2K have done with the token market. Now, I recommend you open badge packs. Not bronzes, because bronze badges are literally almost worthless. So, there's silvers and golds. Now, silver, there's really, I think, two badges. Now, there's one main badge that goes for a lot. And it's silver, quick first step. It goes for about 11k. However, there are a plethora of gold badges. Especially right now with the 250k tournament just finishing. There are so many gold badges that are so expensive in this game. 
and I will, of course, show you guys which ones they are. So, of course, you can do this method if you want. Obviously, if you want to save up your tokens. What I tend to do is I'm, I'm sort of working my way up to 150 tokens before I do this again. Just because, obviously, if you could decide to drop a pink diamond into the token market at the start of next season, I'm prepared for it. But basically, we'll open this uh, just so I can show you guys what type of stuff you're looking in here. I'll open a few of these just to see what we can get. And we flip. We get gold pickpocket. All right, that's about a thousand MT badge, which isn't, which isn't great. It's not great, but you can win them all. So let's go find a pickpocket if I can see it anywhere. Oh, pickpocket, where would I be? All right, we have gold pickpocket. So I have two of these. So yeah. Oh boy, this patch come down in price quite a bit. All right, so I'm gonna sell this gold pickpocket for 600 MT. Now, of course, I do have a receipt of this working out tremendously. Basically, I got quite lucky in the pack and I pulled a gold quick chain. That sold for 6,000 MT. So what I'll do is I'll open three of these and then see which ones we can get. All right, gold difficult shots. Not really a badge that's worth it. Oh, boys. <laughs> Let's go. And Grace under pressure? I'm fairly sure that badge is worth a little bit. All right, Grace under pressure. I actually don't have any of these. So, I mean, it's about a 2,000 MT badge. So we'll take that. Uh, I mean, all right, maybe, a maybe about 1,500. So yeah, 1,500 for Grace Under Pressure. Ain't too bad. Let's have a look at Sniper, please. Oh, Sniper's not as much as I thought it was. All right, the cheapest Sniper I can see is this 3,200 one. So we'll list this one up for 3,100. So already we're up to 5K off of two badge packs. And this is where the ratio is going to bring us down a little bit. Ah, oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> I saw the 1,000. I was like, okay, this isn't too bad. And yep, there, yep, yep. Okay, well, we, we lucked out on two of them, but the other one wasn't that bad. So, theoretically, right, we've opened five badge packs. We got Pickpocket in one, we got Difficult Shots in another one, but then the other three, we got Sniper, Grace Under Pressure, and Quick, cha uh, quick Chain, which isn't too bad. So, yeah, we're going to get these badges sold, and we're going to make about, what, four, six, about six, seven K on just these three. So, seven K for nine tokens. Not too bad. Obviously, you're not going to get that ratio every single time, but... You know what? It's only three tokens. It might as well take a punt on it. But yeah, guys, then, of course, all your MT just adds up over time. And, of course, because, because especially, like, in my case, where I have diamond contracts on these players, it literally doesn't cost me anything to play these games. That's why I think the why, why I think some of these diamond contracts are so strong. It's because you literally just then just, inv like, you suck in MT. You're not, like, spending it here or there. You're not spending it here. You're not spending it there. You are literally not spending anything while just raining in the profits. So, yeah, that's why I think, like, combining methods like this, like, obviously, playing the games, getting MT for the games, getting MT for, like, the shoes, getting MT for the badges, like, getting MT for everything. Even still, as well, you can even get these diamond boosts, which some of them actually go for a little bit. I don't really have, like, that expensive diamond boosts at the moment. But I like to have them here just so I can quickly just search one up. Like Perimeter Defense, for example. I got from a... Um, what did I get Perimeter Defense from? I think I got it from one of the Diamond Boost thing that you get on uh, Triple Threat Online. But I just like to have it just so I can quickly check its price. Just in case I want to get a def another one. Interior Defense, again, it's a badge that doesn't really work. <laughs> or a stat that doesn't really work in this game because Interior Defense is kind of trash. But yeah, like, all the MT just adds up. If you don't mind selling stuff, and obviously, if you have diamond contracts, you are literally raking in that MT, and you are making so much of it. So, definitely something I recommend you guys log into. So, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed the video and found it helpful, do me a favor, smash the like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new around here. I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace.